black human beings, kings and queens. Today I'm going to take you along with me on how to stay on track while traveling. So welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, I am Ida and I'm here to simplify fitness and health. Oh, shaking because I'm moving. <laughs> That's Henrik. Yo. We're in Vegas and in this episode, I want to take you along on both workouts at, because there's new gyms here and I need to show you guys. But also that I want to show you how to stay on track while traveling. And tip number one for those of you that is not as much of a gym geek as I am, maybe just get a hotel that has a proper gym setting. So make sure that they have a gym. You can at least keep your your steps in. You can get a little bit of a circuit in and stuff like that. But if you are like me, a really a person that loves, loves, loves new gym, make sure that you Google and make sure to find the new hit spots. But the rest of the video, the majority of the part where I'm going to speak and tell you guys a lot of things is when it comes to the food. And what I have been doing since this has been a very long morning because we started to drive or Henrik started to drive very early, we have been just taking, um, what have we had? Protein bar and then uh, amino shake. Yes, so amino acids and a protein bar. Just because we were like a little bit snacky, but snackiness does not mean that you need to derail big time from your plan. You can just choose a better option than taking whatever candy bar you want to have. So, uh, protein bar, amino acids, and now it's time to work out. And after that, we actually have prepped for the first meal because uh, we are in a city or a part of the country that's really really steaming hot right now so hence also the car being on because I couldn't speak without it so we only did one meal because we don't know how long it's gonna take us before we hit the, the refrigerators so after that we're going to wing it and I'm gonna take you along on the choices that we make but yeah let's go in and try Las Vegas new gym. If, if they're allow us. Yes, because if they don't allow us in, because it's really, really newly open, and I don't even know if they have had the grand opening yet. If they allow us in, perfect. If not, we're gonna go to one place that we really like, which is Elevation, so we'll see. We're gonna figure it out, as we always do. Torture gym. Yes. Sick name. Torture gym. It's gonna be a torture. So we just went in and we're welcome to come back but we need to go out again to get a pre-workout it is creatine and it's megabot and it's going in and we are going to see such an amazing freaking gym because trust me i've seen the machine park this is gonna be insane so first of all first impression is the stall the owners are so welcoming, so friendly. Number two is the machines are so high tech in a good way. Yeah. So they're called new tech. I hope I say that correctly. I have no idea, but I think so. Sounds like it. And we're starting with this seated machine room. And you see these handles are moving with you in the motion. So in this one, it moves outwards a little bit. It gives you such a good squeeze. And the other one that's next next door, <laughs> the next one has that it moves inwards, right? Yeah, let's try that one too. We're gonna try everything. Yeah, we're gonna try everything for back. And I see another machine that I really wanna try as well. This one, right? That one. It's yeah. a standing row. Yeah. So this, is the <laughs> so this is the next door one, almost the same, but this one goes inward. So it stretches out in a wide angle and it goes in tight to your body. So it squeezes more in the, in the back. Two exercises down, let's go heavier. How good was that? 
good, but I feel so weak. Yeah? Yeah, I don't think I'm awake yet. We will get there. The pre-workout hasn't kicked yet. I know, because we just had it. <laughs> like five minutes ago. Yeah, give it a few moments. How was that? I have maze balls. Right? <laughs> yeah. That squeeze is so good. It feels like I'm on an amusement park. Yeah. More than... See actually, a flex up there. That almost cramped up. Okay, so sincere flashback to Redcon, where I used this type of pull-down machine last year, right? Yeah. Florida. I absolutely love the angle, and this one is even better because it suits my body, yeah. the height, because that one was like a little bit too tall. Yeah. And this is not, so I am in freaking heaven. And I don't even know how to describe this, actually, until someone has tried it out. It's just like this perfect... Your lats is just flaring. That is a crazy forearm pump. <laughs> yeah. And he just asked me, are you okay? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, it actually stings a little bit. <laughs> Core strength. It's the dealio in this one. <laughs> so you have a support, but you need to really engage your core. And if you already like, if you didn't do that from the beginning, what are you doing? You always have to focus on your core string first. Good shit. Well, my mind. <laughs> That <laughs> was like this too much pressure. I was too short. <laughs> so, but after this exercise, I will be smooth. I can already tell. Yep. Down with back, moving on with rear delts. Look how good that is. You like it? Oh yeah. It's good, right? It's heavy. It's really heavy. I don't even know if we can use the fives. Oof. Intense. <laughs> okay, so first of all, the workout. Henrik, <laughs> you're so freaking messy in the car. I mean. Yeah, don't show them. No, don't show them. Henrik is really messy. Like, really messy. Yeah. Yeah. And I know. It is what it is. I compose myself. Okay, guys, that was such a freaking brilliant workout. Are you happy with it? Very happy. Crazy machines. It's really hot in the car. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? Oh my I god, the, the Vegas heat is he's the Vegas heat, it's hitting me hard. I can tell on his arms that it's yeah, mine too. Yeah. I'm getting veiny. Um but yeah, guys, I said to you that after the workout I'm gonna show you how to kind of stay on track. And as I said, it's really, really good if you actually make sure to prep one or two or three meals if that's possible. Actually, we didn't have any ice, so we couldn't bring a cooling bag. Bad move, but we kind of decided this uh, trip last minute. That was a really... Oh, yeah. A GT. A GT. <laughs> I heard something that was yeah. really... Uh, nice. By uh, the way, Ida is really good with cars. She's a, she's a car pro. She knows like, every sound. Not really, though. <laughs> no, I'm not. You're, you're I'm, pretty good. I'm pretty good, but my nephew is better. He knows the sound of every car, and he can... Uh, make it with his mouth too anyways um guys last night i prepped some asparagus broccoli some spinach and the flex pro meals freaking rotisserie chicken the only thing i did with it is that i added some curry because i thought that i would be in the mood for curry today not sure if i'm still am but that <laughs> this sounded good at the moment but what i know is that regardless if it's cold or not the rotisserie chicken from Flex Pro Meals is really good. And if you didn't know, I am actually working together with Flex Pro Meals right now. So if you want to try them out and you haven't done that before, you get 20% off if you use Flex Pro Meals or no, Ida on their <laughs> website, Flex Pro Meals. So, I, th I think it goes down to like six bucks per freaking box. Actually, I think it goes even lower, almost down to 4.89. 
Oh, yes. really? So somewhere between 48 night to 6, depending on what meals you take and if you use my code or not. So you That literally that. is so cheap. It is. You can actually not grocery shop on a normal store in LA at least for that no. kind of money. So, so if you feel like you're thinking about, oh my God, I need to go grocery shopping and I need to prep. I don't have the time. You can just literally order before a certain time, maybe like 1 p.m. or something. And it will, sorry, I got broccoli in my throat. It will actually ship to your doorstep in 24 hours. That for me is actually like not many companies pull that off. No, that's, so, that's, that's insane. I'm happy about that. So yeah, this is what I'm going to have. Preferably... I would have carbs post workout, but I might be hiding some rice underneath there too. So just so you know, so rice, chicken, asparagus, broccoli, spinach. This is going to be my first meal, like my first proper meal of the day. And we will see you when I'm done uh, with, no, when I, when I have found my next meal. That was hard to That's see. That's going to be exciting. Yeah. So I'll we'll catch you then. So. Straight after lunch, we ran to Albertson, which is a grocery store, because before we get to the hotel, I want to make sure that we actually plan ahead so that we don't fail. So let's bunk up on things that we can actually use in those snackier moments. If we need a quick breakfast, if we need a quick evening snack. So instead of going bananas down on the strip, Let's eat something good. Yeah, that's also a thing like on the strip, everything is like twice the, the price. price as well. So that is actually a traveling pro tip. Yeah. Go to the outskirts, go to a grocery store and get water, sodas, whatever you want to have. Or if you drink alcohol, get that outside of the strip. First pro tip is to make sure that you have something protein enhanced. So I'm going to go for beef jerky. And see, they even have zero sugar. First time I see that. See, first time I see that too. And actually, that is one of the things. They might, like all the flavorings, might seem very, very tasty and delicious and tempting. But try to choose the ones with the least sugar in it. So, yeah. So, one other thing. If you know that your hotel room is going to have a refrigerator, which we don't know yet. So, we're not 100% sure if we're going to take this or not. But, yogurt or skewer. Greek yogurt, something that is high in protein and lower in sugar. And these options are actually quite great. Uh, but what you also should come here, what you should look at is how much total sugar it is. And these are super low, like super, super low. Because if you go to here, you see, 23 grams of sugar, six and five. This one is 170, uh, 170 grams of a one serving and it gives you five grams of sugar. So this one is a great option. This one is higher because they have sweetened it with vanilla and a little bit of sugar. But if I would go for one, I would take either one of those or actually go for like a cashew yogurt, which is also not with lactose. So not decisive yet, but it's a good tip. I'm going for buttermilk ranch and uh, caramel instead. Solid macros. Yes. And another thing, of course, make sure to have some tasty drinks. Yes. And some quality bars. Because when we do not have our level one bar, we are always opting for this one because it's made of egg whites, almonds, cashews, dates, nothing else. Very natural. Very natural. That's a, a big key. That's it, right? Yep. So since we just had lunch and we did not have much like more than chicken and veggies. I am treating myself with a hundred calories freaking yogurt bar. And this tastes like heaven. Don't you think? No, oh, yeah, I'm good. Whoa, whoa. So this time in Vegas, we are actually gambling. And I am not meaning on the actual slot machines. I am talking about the hotel. Henrik and I have a really, little bit of a rule that we have to try pretty much all the hotels. <laughs> Even though we have our favorites already, yeah. we still kind of, because this was a last, last minute kind of getaway, which means we just picked the one that we haven't seen that was on the same price range as the one that we usually take. So let's see how the link is. It's also the best location. Yes. In the middle of the strip. Oh. Okay, let's see. So King okay. Size City View. Oh. Smells really good, you guys. Look, this Fresh. it looks almost like uh, our favorite Inida. 
Um. Yeah. Holiday Inn. Holiday Inn, yeah. Yeah. And you can, oh, you can see the pool. Almost. No, not really, but the cabanas. What if this was actually a balcony? Solid. Why? Solid. Oh, they Is this the a... city view, though? Doesn't really, yeah, maybe it is. Maybe but it that, doesn't feel like Maybe it. they mean like that city. Yeah, the like little, the city yeah. Pr uh, promenade. Yeah. But guys, I wonder why they are taking away the balcony. Maybe it is because of the fact that they don't want people to jump down in the pool. Maybe, yeah. It's huh. a lot of um, hangover movies recorded here. Yeah. Like wannabe hangover movies. Yeah. So, I mean, solid room. And there's, yeah, there's a mini fridge. Good, good, good. And good. the best thing is, guess <gasps> how much was this? I don't remember now. 100 bucks. So 100 bucks for two nights, that's insane. I swore. Okay, let's uh, see let's the bathroom. See. I mean, fresh shower, what the hell? This is better than Aloe Lani's uh, bathroom. I actually dig this. So far I haven't seen any dirt, which is something that you kind of see later on. Yeah, especially in Vegas too. Especially in Vegas, but so far actually, yeah, a little bit of like makeup stain and shit, and I don't really care about that. But actually, and comment down below if you actually enjoy when I do these kind of hotel tours, because from the Hawaii vlog, you guys seem to really appreciate it. And if you do, just let me know so I will keep doing it. It's also good for my own memory because people always ask us like, what do you thought about that? Yeah, which, which what hotel should I go to? Yeah, so I mean, for the but like for this price. I mean, 100 bucks for two nights. I mean, come on, it's nothing. This is great. So guys, next thing that's up is going to be... Work. Uh, yes, we're gonna have to work for a little bit. Oh, that is actually something I miss in this room. There's no like a big comfortable... That's the only thing, but that's like yeah, me. They... Oh, well, there's a chair here. Yeah, I can sit down here. Uh, so work for a couple of hours, maybe take a little bit of a hotel gym cardio session because um, we're in the middle of the challenge. But yeah, otherwise it's food hunting and just chillax for a little while. Yeah. So yeah, peace out. All right, back at the hotel room. And we got da, 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 meet me at the hotel, hotel. room. Uh, we have in I this one. Just, and what I did, we have the same thing just in different amounts. I got half a portion, half a serving of rice. I got half a serving of beans. I got a full serving of chicken. I also got pico de gallo, a lot of lettuce, and avocado. Yeah. I am so hyped right now. So is me, I'm excited too. Yeah, it makes you feel like this is gonna be the first hot meal and it's not even really hot anymore, but it is what it is. But guys, you can still eat fast food. You just have to do wiser decisions when you're at a fast food chain. Chipotle might still not be the best and you don't know exactly how much oil they are having in their, when they cook the chicken. What you could have skipped is the avocado, but avocado is also a really healthy fat. So I'm not skipping out of that because I also love avocado. So, that is going to be, because even if there's a little bit extra oil in the chicken and the rice, and the avocado together, yes, it's a little bit higher fat than a normal meal if I did it at home, but still healthy things, right? Your carbs is a bit lower too, and as yes. long as you reach your protein goal, you're fine. Yes. With a little bit more fat. Yeah, exactly. So focus, always aiming for my protein and that's gonna happen with this one. And with that said, well guys, before I eat my dinner, I have to tell you that I forgot to show you my second meal of the day, which was um, the yogurt that I showed you at the store. I just had some banana in it and just like made sure to get my protein in. I also had a half serving of the beef jerky. And this is something that I had while I was working, so that's why I didn't even like, I didn't comprehend that I wanted to show you guys that. But and also one RX bar. And one RX bar. So now with this meal, I'm going to be completed with my protein intake for today. And that's also going to conclude this entire video, you guys, because I think I've been talking a lot. And so, training. And I've been training a lot too today. So I hope that you guys learned something from this and that you actually catch up on a few, few things that you can utilize and actually use in your own life. 
and to make sure that you actually realize that you can enjoy your living, you can travel, yet still your physique, still reach your physique goal. I jumped ahead like four yeah, times. Like don't feel restricted and not allowed to do things. Just exactly. be smart about the choices. Exactly. Because the thing is, the majority of people are not competitive athletes. The majority of people are just common folks that just kind of want to look good naked, feel good in their own skin and perform well at their work with their kids and stuff like that. And that means that you kind of have to enjoy yourself and not feel restricted, but do good choices. So with that said, I'm going to leave you to it to actually subscribe to the channel and leave a like. And until next time, have the best.